All right, man, I'm here with my nigga Young V, you dig? Young V, my nigga Money Talk to him, you dig? What's up with y'all, boys, man? What's good? Young V, man, Young V, Young V, E-E, you hear me? You know. Money Talk to him, man, what it is, man. Saying, appreciate y'all, boy, for coming, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up with a nigga real yeah, quick. Facts, anytime, anytime. I know y'all recently dropped a, a project, you hear me? Well, y'all both each dropped a project, you hear me? Uh, okay. What's the name of your project, you hear me? Uh, I had dropped a project, it was yesterday, that bitch called New Era, you know. How many songs on that thing? Five songs on there. Five songs? Got a couple features. Five songs, alright. What about you, uh, V? What, uh... She, I just dropped a tape, five song tape, you know what I mean? That be called V-Day, you know what I mean? Like a holiday, be long holiday. Yeah, you know I, mean? I don't got no features on that bitch. Um, yeah, I don't got no, all them bitches singles. All them hits, though. Yeah, all vibes on that. Oh, smoke them bitches is. Oh, smoke yeah, no cap right, for right, sure, right, for right, sure. Right, right, Wanted to right, tell right. you that, yeah, them bitches is smoke. Money as well. I heard the tape, man. Congratulations to y'all boys, man. On y'all, y'all new thank drop, you. you dick. But uh, money. How you feel about the project, man? How you feel? You know what I'm saying? How you feel about it, man? Like, what's yeah. your what's your first thoughts after the drop about it? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I really like like the way how it came out. We shot a music video to it. We did all that kind of like in one day, you know? Shit was really a vibe, so. You hear me? Yeah, Basically like a little package, you know what I'm saying? What about you, V? How you feel about your project? My shit was like, I like my shit. Like, I think, I think this is my best tape. Like, I think this is my best, like, out of all my, I only got two. This is my best one. This is my best one. I like this bitch more than I like the last tape and the deluxe. Yeah, but yeah, this is my best one. I Comparing like it to what? What's the what's the what's the other tapes? My other tape, the other tapes. Me and Money got one called No Holding Back. Yeah, man. First tape too. Yeah, that's our first tape. Hey, that bitch still running. Bro. Yeah, that bitch smoke. That bitch got yeah, you know I mean? original shit. Yeah, you know I man. Mixes, remixes. Yeah, you know I mean? but I feel like our new tapes just show. You know what I mean? Like, how, what nigga came, like, how far nigga came so far, you know what I mean? How far nigga came already. You know what I mean? Because this is just a nigga second tape. Yeah, I feel right. like that bitch cold, like, that bitch nice. I fuck with that bitch on some shit. What was, what's the message you kind of trying to get to the listeners with your tape? Like, what you kind of want them to take from it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, in fact, just like how V say, he say, uh, we want to show them, like, how far we came with the shit. And, like, we came this far and we ain't giving up. So like, that's really why I want to show people like, we ain't giving up with this shit. We gonna keep it going. What about you, V? What, what what you want niggas to take from the tape? You know what I'm saying? Um, on my latest tape, that V Day, I want I want it to be known like, I'm trying to I'm trying to stamp that shit like it's gonna be a real V Day one day, bitch. I'm gonna have a holiday behind myself. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be very important. You know what I mean? The V stands for very important. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be that. That's what I'm trying to get through to you niggas. Know? Right. Straight up. Like the sky is the limit. That's what the tape. I'm screaming on the tape. I'm screaming. The sky is the limit. Right. You know, you're not catching it. You're on the wrong wave. You're on the wrong wave. You ain't you're catching the it. wrong tide, partner. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> Money, uh... Just let the people know. Like, well, let them know where you're from, man. Like, tell them, tell the people where you're from, bro. Like, just, you know... Sure, uh, you know, New Orleans, you know, grew up around here. I be in Texas every now and then. I got some people stay out there and shit. But yeah, you know, Nola, this is really where I grew up from, son. I really fuck with the Nola. Man, I'm from New Orleans, yeah. Like, nigga, I'm from New Orleans, but nigga moved around a lot throughout. Like, nigga, when nigga was young, nigga used to live in the East. You know I mean? Nigga that moved from the East. Nigga done moved to downhill. You hear me? Nigga done moved. Nigga done been in Slidell. You hear me? So, shit. I'm from, I'm from Louisiana. Just that metro area, yeah. yeah Just that Nola yeah, metro yeah, area, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of people's story, you know. A lot of people from New Orleans uh, and just the metro area in general, they done lived all over. People from the West Bank moved to the East. Uh, move from the east to the parish. Move from the parish yeah, to Metairie. Yeah, a lot of niggas down here. Yeah, a lot of niggas from yeah. the parish moved to the nine. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, it's right. just a, you know, niggas from that uh, metro area. Yeah. 
niggas and bitches from different parishes, you know, females from different parishes, you know, you know what I mean? It's, they got people everywhere that's from everywhere. Right, 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 yeah. Know? Yeah, for like sure. People that, they got people out here in, in, in New Orleans that's not from Louisiana at all. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, cause I know, in, yeah, I know in other cities, uh, people that are from a certain part of that city, like, uh, you know, they they generally stay in that area. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it's kind of our culture down here to just move around. You know, wherever you could get a, a little spot to lay your head at. You know, that's where people usually end up. Money, tell them a little bit about you growing up, man. Tell them, you know what I'm saying. Give them a little, you know what I'm saying. Tell them. You know, tell them what it was like growing up, which, uh, you know. Yeah, facts, son. Growing up, son, just me and my brothers, you know, cooling, tagging on the block, we come outside every day. First, we was doing that little kid shit, son. Then, like, we seen going down that road, son. Shit ain't really, like, was up, so we start getting to this music shit. What's the road? Like, what, 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 where, where, did, where, did, where did some people hang, uh, end up? Like, what, what? You know, just being on the block and shit, you know. Nigga don't want to be handed nothing. Yeah, fair. Yeah, man, as a kid, nigga got so used to being handed shit. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't you can't keep doing that shit. If you, you keep doing that shit, you ain't gonna never grow. Yeah, you know I mean, you gonna always feel like a motherfucker gotta come and give you some shit. Yeah, that's right. When you really supposed to get up and go get that shit. Yeah, you know I'm talking. Especially growing up, you can't be no fucking bum like. Facts. As a nigga, you can't be no bum. Where I'm from, you can't be no bum. No, uh -huh. you ain't getting no hoes. How, how, you wearing the same shit every day. How was it for you? How was it for you growing up? V, like you know, what I'm saying, just tell them, you know, what I'm saying, tell them a little bit. At first, like, I don't know, at first, growing up, the shit was like I wanted to be a kid forever. You know what I mean? When I was little, shit was great. You know what I mean? I had everything I wanted up to like a certain point, and then all that shit went out the window. You know what I mean? Like it was down there, like reality hit a nigga. At a young ass age, like 11, 12, all that free fun shit, kitty shit went out the window. A nigga had to really look at shit for what it really was, you know? Yeah, right. And then. Nigga, yeah. nigga ain't never not have, though, you know what I mean? My mom and them, yeah, they always made sure nigga had what they needed, you know what I mean? But. Nigga done, nigga done went through some shit, you know what I mean? That shit not growing up anywhere. Like my mama son, she always made sure nigga had what they need, but nigga wanted what they wanted. So. It be like the odds stacked against a nigga, like this shit fell, this shit designed for a nigga to fail. Every time, like yeah, facts. You get down, you get put down, you get back up just to fail again. Yeah, man, that shit crazy. But what's your mentality on that? Like you fail, you know what I'm saying? What's 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 next? Like you know what I'm saying? It, it's you you fail and you see how you did it. And you see what exactly what you did wrong, who you, it, it, whatever it must have been, who you was hanging with, what they was doing, how y'all was doing, whatever. You see exactly what you did wrong and you correct all your errors because you don't have no more space for no more fuck ups. Yeah, fact. So once you see all your fuck ups, you done used up all your space, but you don't got no more. You can't do nothing wrong no more. You know what to do now. You done did it already and did it wrong. So you know how to do it right. Just do the opposite of what you did. For sure. Never go against my bros and shit, you know? They're the ones who I started with. Some niggas I'm gonna finish with. So I gotta stay on that loyalty, stay on that business, you know? As far as niggas down here, I don't really, like, kind of like, close people like I, that I could really say I fuck with and not no associate. I, like, I fuck with like six people. You know what I mean? Niggas is not like niggas slime as fuck. Down here, you'll meet some of the brokest people you ever meet in your life. You come, you'll come down here and get stuck down here. Right. Not on no good shit, like you don't want to stay, but you, you don't got no other choice. And as far as the hoes, females, I'm so sorry, females. <laughs> no. Bro, what the fuck? With the shawties, what's, what's up in, with them? It's, it's crazy, just in my general area, like the parish, I can't do it. Like they just, these hoes like, they so messy, bro, like, fucking right. and then you can't, you can't not fuck with the hoe, because this hoe, friends with this hoe, <laughs> so now they both know your, all your business, yeah? yeah, then they messy, bro, they talking to everybody, they talking to all the niggas, best believe all them niggas know your business, if she talking to them, they know your business, yeah, you, yeah, it's just, a, it's, it's some slimy shit, it's a slimy scene down there, it's not no, it's not no place you want, if you come to Louisiana, go to the city, don't come down here. 
I mean, New Orleans just got uh, named recently the murder capital uh, of the United States. How y'all feel about that? Nigga seen it coming. Can't keep, can't hate. Nigga seen it coming. In New Orleans. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga seen it coming. In New Orleans. Yeah. Nigga seen it coming. 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 Nigga it, that that's really the the, the cards a nigga dealt. Yeah, man. what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Switch states? And what y'all feel like the cause of this shit is? You know what I'm saying? What's the why, why this why this shit going like this? I think it's money. <laughs> you think it's money? It what? can't get like it can't get this bad behind some bullshit. You know what I mean? like, it, it can't get this bad behind some niggas beefing over a conversation or some words or something. Niggas got to be fighting behind some money or some shit, some, some bitches or something. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, niggas it's like a cycle, niggas man. Niggas stealing. People out just stealing, like, you know, let niggas try to steal somebody's car, nigga, pop their ass. Yeah, that definitely happened. Right. And it's bad on a nigga, because a nigga still young. Right. And all the mother niggas out there stealing cars and shit. So as soon as a nigga see me, they like, oh, that nigga steal cars. He, he, he do this, he jigging and finessing. Fuck, I might be, but it ain't really your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what's the what's what's the daily mindset out there when you know when nigga just moving around? Like, how you feel? Money moving around out there? Fuck, watch where you put your business on. Watch who you tell it to. Fuck, if you gonna tell your business, I always know. Like, you telling your shit, you don't know who you telling it to. Nigga might tell your business. You know what I'm saying? So, just and really out here, really like, if you don't, if you not from. Like, say you not from out here, and you come out here, and you, you stand out here, like, you not just visiting. Just, I, I wouldn't talk to nobody, like, I wouldn't. Be a friend of the motherfucker. Yeah, man. like, just start walking up to motherfuckers, asking directions and shit. Because yeah, niggas yeah. definitely try to get out on you, like, get over on you. Uh, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like down here, you definitely could ask a nigga for some directions or something. I feel like... More so, it's more like, yeah, just make sure that you understand that you can't be hanging around niggas and, and claiming yeah, these right. niggas as your clothes. Don't be posting niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my close partners. Go. It'd be anywhere you go, though. Cause so, if you, 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 you just see some niggas and you start asking them for some shit, you know what I mean? Some niggas pull up on them, now you there. You see what I'm saying? Right, that's... That shit everywhere. It's that's everywhere. What, I feel yeah. like that's more sort of case, you know what I'm saying? Really watch where you at and shit, you know, watch where you hang around and shit. Facts, facts, facts. What's uh I know y'all been in the music been y'all ain't been in here for too long, y'all just getting y'all feet wet kinda, you know what I'm saying? But y'all been in here for a couple months now. What's some what's something you learned, you know what I'm saying, about the music business that you you didn't really know before coming in? V? Rap I learned before I got in this shit, uh, it, it's a lot I learned. But like one big thing I learned is rap is rap and that street shit is that street shit. Once that shit mixed, bad shit start happening, like bad things start happening. Like what like, you mean by that mean, mean, uh, just go in, just explain that real quick for him. So, like boom, when I say rap is rap, when you rapping and you saying, you saying what you do daily, you know what I mean? If you not really doing that, you know, they gonna have such and such to test you and press you and do all this to actually see if you living what you saying you talk about. And then they got you know, the niggas that's strictly doing that, that's really living for that. That are really, they going that extra mile to prove that they do that because that's all they do. You know what I mean? When you mix, when a nigga dissing somebody and, they, and then they go into the streets and all that, that's why, that's why niggas start dying and all that. Yeah, a minute. That's really a good question, son, because I learned so much, like, before I started doing this rap and shit, like, you know, I was really, like, listening to other motherfuckers and shit, so I'm like, I ain't really have no clue, like, fuck, for example, let me see, just like, I ain't, yeah, I ain't, I, like, I thought it was that easy, you know, just 
get in the studio, say a couple words and shit, and it's gonna be this and that. But fuck no, like it's not. It's not like anybody can rap, you know. It's not for everybody to be like a number one star in this shit, you know. Like fuck, you gotta have a different type of flow, a different vibe. When people hear your shit, they gotta understand like you're not just stuck on one type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's something else, nigga. I had to get like. Cause you will hear everybody else, and you'll think, oh man, that nigga shit way colder than mine. But you, you just, <coughs> you in your own lane, you in your own zone. You working, you know what I mean? if, even if it's cold or whatever, you working to get to a certain point. Yeah. So none of that shit really, you know what I mean? I had to learn, like distractions, that shit, that shit real. You could really get distracted all fucking day. And not do nothing productive. And, and and how do y'all feel about you know what I'm saying? Like you just said, you would hear somebody and be like, his shit, his shit cold. You know what I mean? Like, what do you take from that? Do you are you looking to see if you could you know maybe take something from him? You know what I'm saying? Learn something from that flow. You know what I'm saying? Pick that up, or are you kind of like, I know my I know my shit raw. I'm 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 rocking with my. You know what I'm saying? How, how, what's the balance between that? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good question. You know, like. I kind of like, when I listen to, that's actually like what nigga be feeling like. Fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for, son? Fuck, that's the vibe I be looking for. You know, I be want to listen to other people's shit, hear what they talking about, how they come on that bitch and flow on that bitch, you know. That's shit I like, you know. Fuck. I'm going to say, when I listen to other people's music, I like the, I do like the, take from that like I do like the you could say sample like that's a good that's a good word for it like <clears throat> I like like I hear a nigga beat and be like that's amazing like just uh just that one instrument that shit amazing get a beat that got that got that same little vibe to it you know what I mean? uh I go make a song and use a flow that got that same little Sound to it, yeah. I like I like to take from niggas, cause then when you do that, and it's some and it's a nigga that people really listen to, they gonna go listen to your shit, cause it sound like this shit. Yeah, and especially if it's cold, you really you want to do your own shit too, though. You so when you add your own little yeah, kick spin on it, yeah. it'd be night, nice. it'd be some cold shit. For sure, for sure. What's your uh, what's your goal in music? Like, what's, ooh, 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 why 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 are we doing this? Like, what's what's ooh, you know what I'm saying? What's the goal to this shit? I'm I'm gonna I'm keep it about. I want to be forever rich. I want to have rich generations. I want like I don't want to have I don't want my kids and grandkids and shit to work. But do you really love the the music part of it, or do you just see you know what I'm saying that this music? Like, I've been feeling like I was supposed to do this shit, if that makes sense. Right. Like, I was, I was feeling like, like, if I'm not doing this, what the, what, what am I doing? Like, right. what is my purpose? I feel like this is my purpose, like, to speak through this shit. Like, I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing, like, making music. What about you, money? What's your goal? Like, what's your goal in this shit? I feel like... Like alone, like I'm young right now, so I just gotta keep living, you know, keep going through shit. And the most shit I go through, that's the most shit I could talk about in this music shit. And I really want to tell my story, you know, cause like I'm 18, fuck. Like I said, I'm young. I've been through a lot of shit. 18 year olds, 17 year olds, 16 year olds don't go through, you know. And that's some shit I feel like, you know, I want some people to help. So fuck, yeah, I got a different way of telling my story too. That would it be telling a nigga story? And if they fuck with the story, you keeping it real enough, motherfuckers gonna fuck with you just for keeping it real. You know what I mean? Just for keeping it real, I mean that. And nowadays, your music don't even gotta be good. If you a real nigga, people just gonna fuck with you. They start to strengthen your vibe like, oh, he a real nigga. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? How do y'all feel? Y'all young niggas in the game, do y'all feel like y'all got like, a turn to wait, or do y'all feel like, you know what I'm saying, like, it's y'all time, you know, just currently, you know what I'm saying, like. I feel like it's our time, every time. You know what I mean? Everybody get their time to shine, but you working up to that point. So it's your, it's your time. You see what I'm saying? 
that's some shit you ain't never getting back. If you waste that time to shine, when when that when is that coming back? You don't fucking know. Right. You gotta take that. Like right? you taking every opportunity. You can't. You gotta take advantage of every second. And you you sitting around, or you be making some money, being productive. Separate you from everybody. I feel like it's the work. As much, like I feel like I want it too bad. Like I feel like I want it that bad that I want it more than them niggas. See what I'm saying? And they work and they they want it. They feel like they should be there. I feel like that's where I'm going. See what I'm saying? Like right. I'm doing all of this for that to happen. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not like oh damn I should I should be doing. I'm, I'm like man I'm about to go do this so I can have this. Right. Uh, I'm about right. to go do this so I could be straight when this happened. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I really think it's the grind, like your mindset, your where you got that work ethic. Them niggas, they, clearly they ain't got it. Fuck, they feel like Fair. they ain't get, they ain't got no shot. And you ain't got it. Fuck. I feel like you're not taking that yeah. much. I feel like you gotta know yourself with this shit too, because like, so like I said, I feel, I really feel like I'm different. Like I know everybody say that shit, and everybody really feel like that, but. I really feel like that, you know, and I gotta show people that's how I feel. So when you hear my songs and shit, you gonna really hear like the difference from my shit versus other niggas. Like, I feel like nobody should sound like me, type shit. Man, uh, what's something you'll tell a, a, a young nigga that's getting into this shit, you know what I'm saying, who just about to get into this shit? What's something you'll tell him just coming from y'all experience right now, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, keep your head up, and if this is what you really gonna do, fuck, put that time and put that work in. Do this shit every day. Make sure you write something every day. Nigga keep really going, just, man. Nigga, I really just tell him, don't stop. Right. Like, if, if, if you wanna be a rapper right now, just, and, and you really think you good at it, just start doing it. Um, Start right. doing it and just don't stop. Just be consistent. Real talk. And eventually, if you that's what you really want, you want to live that lifestyle, it's going to happen. You working for it, it's going to happen. All right. Just really don't get discouraged either. Because, you know what I mean? Bad days in the studio is not rare. It's like raining. You know I mean? bad Niggas have bad days in the studio. Uh, niggas have... Trash songs, trash songs, you know I mean? Like none of that's rare. That's all part of being a rapper. Don't get discouraged when a nigga tell you, oh, that shit ass. Cause I'm the type, I'm the type tell a nigga, you know what I mean? That shit poop, bro. I be telling bro, bro, do that shit over. Right. That's what, that's, that's what it take. Yo, right. a so, nigga gonna tell you, a rich nigga tell you. You not putting that on my song, boy. So, so. How do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel about the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your process? You, how do you know your song is cold? You know what I'm saying? You know, like, do you just got had that vibe already? Is niggas letting you know? Like, what, how do you know? Like, you know, you said some of them be trash, but, you know, the quote, quotations. You, you know when you have, you know, especially if it's your song, you know when you have a cold song, because you made it. Like, when you're making that song, if you feel... Like damn, like this you supposed to feel like this this the one like I think I could blow up off this shit. That's a cold song, my nigga. Right. If you in the room with your partners and your partner like oh he he own that shit like by the time you finish with the song, he know that bitch. Right. That's a cold song. For sure, right? yeah. Like yeah. your partner just like all them other niggas listening to the music. Yeah man. For like, sure. You gotta believe in yourself. If he like man. that shit, people gonna like that shit. For real talk. Nobody ain't gonna believe you like you, you know believe yourself. You you hear when you you know what you hear when you hear some catchy shit. Like you know what motherfuckers gonna like. Yeah. You, know? you done listen to music too. So you know a little bit of what to do. Yeah. For sure. And and like what's going on with the uh how y'all feel about tapping in with some uh with some shows and shit. How y'all y'all that's something y'all looking forward to getting into? Oh, yeah. Fucking right. And I'm ready for them bitch. I'm just a little new to it, like my bro be telling me that shit like different. Like I be like, I don't got stage for it. Cause I, like, I could go in front. I done went in front of people and shit. But bro be like, nigga, 
that's it just a totally different thing. Like it's not like no Right, you gotta really you gotta have right. experienced that moment, you know what I'm saying, to right. really you know what I'm saying, be able to really grasp how you gonna feel why, in that moment. That's Cause why it's, a nigga a little nervous about it, like yeah. that shit got me a little like nervous, excited type shit. Yeah. Cause I don't wanna go up there and niggas just be looking at me like I'm crazy or something. Do you but feel, I know niggas don't know the music. Do you feel like you do have the ability to command the room, command the, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I got crowd control. Like, I feel like I can make my brother, you know what I mean? Everybody yeah. Everybody clap your hand. Yeah, me type well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Money? How you feel? Fuck something around. you got to work on or you might, or something? I feel like definitely nigga got to work on it because nigga ain't never do it. Yeah, thanks. It's, it's just take- like... Every time I thought about that shit, I heard about that shit going on stage, I just get this little feeling, like, you know? Real like, shit. And I just be thinking to myself, man, like, but that's the work, that's the feeling I'm working for, you know? So, right. like, I just gotta be ready for when that time come, you know? Yeah. Like a live concert for a big artist, like a mainstream I'm artist? The, uh, Louisiana Fest. Louisiana Fest. YB had, uh, YB had just dropped, like, no smoke and shit. Right, that probably yeah. was, like, the beginning of him officially yeah, like, blowing, 2016, like... 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was at Louisiana Fest and he performed first. So nigga had seen that boy, but I ain't, I had, I didn't get in that bitch yet. You hear me? I got in that bitch around like the very end of the song. Nigga was like kind of still outside that bitch. Nigga had seen him getting in a car and shit with all the security and all that. Fuck was out there. But I think it was just YB and Wayne. YB and Wayne performed. What about you, man? Fresh a you couple have- of times. You ever, uh, you ever been to a concert? Any live concerts? Anything like that? Nah, I'm gonna keep it. I ain't been to none of them bitches. Right, right, right. Yeah, the only reason why I asked is because, you know, I just wanted to know if y'all paid attention to how, you know, the stage presence that any of the artists, you know, they carry. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do y'all feel like this shit's sustainable? Like, meaning, like, budget-wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, do y'all feel like, what would you tell a young nigga, you know what I'm saying, about as far as what you gonna need in this shit? You know what I'm saying? If a nigga, if he trying to do this shit itself, you gonna need to stack that bread, son. Real tough. You gonna need that bread to put behind yourself with this shit. You gonna need that bread to get what you want with this shit. You wanna make sure your shit sound good. You don't want, see what I'm saying? You don't wanna get the pool shit. You gotta get the best shit. You're what you pay for type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. They just don't know what really go into this shit, you know what I'm saying? They think it's just like a, like a snap, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, uh... Let them know about, you know what I'm saying, kind of the process. Let them know that shit really, you know what I'm saying? That shit really work, like. It really, yeah, it, it, it work fucking right. But it's work. Right. Like, you see what I'm saying? Right. Like, whatever you put into the shit, that's what you're going to get out. For right. I mean, if you putting in minimum amount of effort, you're going to get minimum amount of reward. You, know, you put in max effort, by the time you all the way through, you know what I mean? You're going to get what you was praying to get. Yeah, it really worked. Yeah, for sure. What's uh, what's your favorite local uh artist, man? Give me if you gotta pick one, man. What what, what you say, money? That shit is just you know who. Nobody don't take no offense. You know what I'm saying, nigga. Just who you know, who you feel like you look up to, in this shit. Like yeah, homie, really, homie, really vibing. No offense to nobody else. You know, just you know. I fuck with Kizzle. Yeah, facts, Kizzle, bro. That's right now. As to like where I'm at and where he at, I look up to that man. For sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that man on another level than a nigga. Like he where I'm trying to be right now. For yeah, sure. Like right. eventually I'm gonna have to get where he at to go where I wanna be. Right. That's sure. the perfect role model for a nigga. For you know, I'm looking at him like this. What I gotta, I gotta do this so this could be better. Yeah. You know I mean? I'm listening to his shit like. Damn, I gotta go find that beat. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. If I if I switch that bitch up like this, them hoes gonna fuck with that. Right. You know what I mean? That man, that man nice at what he do, like, telling him. What about you, money? Yeah, in fact, son, I fuck with my nigga Kizzle, so like, the way I be watching, like, you know, the interviews, and I be watching, like, his music videos, and his different songs and shit, you know? And I see, like, how he got a different style, he come with the shit. And I fuck with that, like, he can switch it up, you know, and he keep going with this shit. As far as, like, local artists close to me, son, like, that man really the best. I can't really put nobody on top of that man. 
Yeah, and, and on a personal level, like seeing that man work and shit, going to his shows and shit, being in the studio with him, shooting a video with him, all that shit, from texting him, being on the phone with him, that man, that man really a idol, like a role model type shit. That man, I feel like he the best down here. For but sure. I, I don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, if that's how you feel, man, fuck what everybody right. think, man, that man. I'm not saying about everybody else. I don't right. want to jinx that man. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no, yeah, you know, but it's like riding a bike, you know, this right. this shit like riding a bike. This ain't really no, this I ain't, you can't that twist that no angle in this shit. Rapping. That, with, with that aside, like, who y'all favorite is, who 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 really is the king of the city? Like, who who really the, got this bitch the most popular? Like, who who y'all feel like really... Got the most like uh, 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 all the time or right now? Just just right now. Who 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 stamped the who got you know what I'm saying? Four nine. Yeah. Four, four, four nine man. got the city on lock. Sure. How y'all feel about uh? How y'all feel about four nine uh and, and, and his success? You know. That bitch turned. Yup. That bitch turned. Shit. He up. Yeah, man. That's what that's what a nigga trying to do. Y'all feel like he putting all well for us? You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. Fuck all right. All right. Right, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That, that man opening the door, putting his foot in that bitch. Fucking right. I'm about to grab the door now. I've been coming through. Don't trip. He just shot that man. uh that Volta Island bitch down here, man. That man fucking with yay and everything. Yeah, y'all had yeah. had the years and shit. That man fucking with yay and everything. No, that man up. Yeah, I saw Wayne bumping that shit, that the Volta Island in the club the other night. Look like he might try to hop on a remix or something, I mean, but uh. Baby on the remix, bro. Come on now. Bro. How y'all felt about that? I know y'all went out yeah, there for that. How how that was? Yeah, fucking right, man. That shit was. Hey, lit, I ain't gonna man. lie. Baby, my favorite rapper. So. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know I man. I feel like that man is great. So just seeing that shit, like being thirty feet away from the nigga, that shit was crazy. Right, 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 yeah. That shit crazy. Like, the way that man just blew, he blew past so many cold niggas down here. Like, they got, they got some niggas that I feel like way colder than that man. That's rapping right now. That still don't got as much money as this man. That's still not out the city. That's so, city so, city. so what do you think? You think, uh... That been rapping. So, basically, what conclusion you get from that is basically, like, uh... It's really about, you know, the type of nigga you is more, more so than the music. You gotta have nice music, but... You know what I'm saying? That's like what I was yeah, saying in the question before. Like, you a real nigga. You can't be no authentic, synthetic ass nigga. Like, right. nigga, not nobody respecting you. If you're not respected, then what you is? Uh, what's something you don't like about the music industry so far, son? What's, let them know what you don't like. The get over. Like, I, I hear a lot about record labels and shit. And. Signing yourself and shit, like, I feel like the get over with the record labels and shit, with the record deals and shit, I feel like that shit crazy as hell, like, um, that's, that's really some shit, like, that's why a nigga be wanting to learn the business part of the shit. Fuck, nigga just be seeing a lot of shit, but fuck. Nigga. Fuck, I don't know the beef, really. That's what I'm about to say, bro. Niggas be really, like, crazy about a song, bro. Like, real tough. Niggas is willing to beef with you I feel like because they bitch fuck with your music. Bro. What the fuck, bro? Nigga trying to, yeah, yeah. I don't understand that shit, bro. We both trying to get money. Yes. Me and you both trying to get money. Right. And you, I don't understand that. The rap beef is bullshit to me. It's like, you know, on a track. Just on a track, nothing else. Not in the streets, none of that. Show the nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you coming on the track on the song and shit. But, like, once you go to the streets, that's a whole nother kick. That's like. what I'm saying. That's what I say about rapping is rapping. And that street shit is that street shit. It don't yeah. mix. <laughs> Man, you know how uh, Lil Baby and Lil Dirt did that fucking album. And they were going crazy on that with them two. You know? They were doing singles and features and just them two type shit. And some other niggas, but always dip to on the song. We trying to do some shit like that's some album shit like yeah, some night nice shit. Right. I'm trying to. I want to have like. I want to start having like listening parties and album release parties and shit. Like that's that's the type of way we're trying to get on as we speak. <laughs> How y'all feel like getting in front of the mic is now? It's like 
it's like now it's more natural. Y'all done, y'all done got out the little butterfly still. How that is? How you coming out? I ain't never that? really had that kind of feeling. I ain't never really had no butterfly. Like, a nigga come ask me to rap some shit, I just start rapping that shit. Fuck yeah, right. I mean, nigga ain't never, I ain't never get nervous about this shit. Like, I ain't never, I can't really never say I was scared to go on stage or do some shit in front of a lot of people. Like, I, that's why I'm, I'm telling you, I feel like I always had the passion for this shit. Fucking right. I ain't never get the butter. I go in the studio and be a little, like my first song, I was a little nervous. When I was in the studio, my first time in the studio, I was a little nervous. Cause, just cause I ain't know how I was gonna sound. Like I ain't know, like this was, this was, I ain't know how I was gonna sound raw. Like this is my real first time in that bitch. Right. But I ain't never really been scared to rap. If you wanna do it, you really can't be scared. Right. Like, right. If you scared, hoes always told him. Like, I like the way how he talk. I like the way how he sound. Like facts. When get in that studio, hoes told me I sound good. Fuck. <laughs> Not them hoes be when they not from out here. Fucker. Say baby again. <laughs> if y'all had to pick a nigga that, ch that don't know y'all and that y'all ain't never met that's from down here to do a song with, who y'all think y'all would knock something out the park with? Nino Cal. Nino? So like me and him doing a song. New Orleans? Yeah. Fuck man. 4 9. 4 9. Y'all feel like, you feel like uh, y'all styles gonna blend real good oh, together? No, no, Wayne. Wayne? Yeah. Oh yeah, like for sure. Wayne, that go without saying. Fuck it, right? I'm I like my style go away. I'm back. saying a nigga that's right now that's like, you know, basically that the feature reachable. You know what I'm saying? Like Oh, oh nigga, yeah, four nine. Four nine. Four nine. I don't feel like like our styles wouldn't complement each other, but it'll definitely be a nice ass on its own. I like zooming in and out of certain pockets in the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I talk fast. I'm saying what would you what would a nigga label y'all as like trap, uh, uh, drill? I do, I do it like I like to go everywhere with the shit. Right, right. first time. Shit. Yeah, I like to go everywhere with the shit. If they had a name for it, you, know, you could say I'm a versatile artist or whatever. But yeah, I like to do all kind of shit, bitch. I start singing on that motherfucker. For <laughs> sure. What about you, money? Yeah, same thing. Real talk, nigga like to do versatile, but lately I just been in that rock star mode. Like. I just um, want to turn yeah, that's what the nigga been on there. What would a, what would, what, what would a motherfucker that don't know y'all say about y'all music? What would you what you think they'll say? Based on like genre, what kind like of genre? just what you think after they walk away from this tape? What 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 do they what do they know about you? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they gonna be like, yeah, he talking about some shit. Yeah, they gonna for <laughs> he me. He talking about some shit. <laughs> for me, the singer, you know, about to drop some singles, nigga, not letting up. You know what I mean? Tape dropped yesterday, two days ago. October coming up, up nigga got some Halloween spooky shit. Spooky season, nigga. It's about to be spooky right. season. It's about to be a V-Long party. Fucking yeah, right. October 30th, it is a V-Long party. Yeah, man. I'm going to be in that bitch going retarded. <laughs> for, right. for, for sure, man. But uh, appreciate y'all boys, man. Uh, We're going we gonna to get y'all boys back on here again sometime soon. You know, come refresh them. Come let them know what's going on. Uh. Yeah. You know what I'm V, you know what I mean? Fucking right, money. Go follow me. Instagram. At IUNGG underscore V E E E. Money. Mm -hmm. Fat. Two G's, three E's. And uh, let them know where they could get that tape at, man. That tape. Tape exclusive, you know what I mean? That bitch on SoundCloud. SoundCloud exclusive right yeah, now, right? Bio. I just gave y'all the app. Where you see if you, put, if you just got a. I see myself as a rapper. Slash real estate agent, slash multi million dollar business owner. Taking my people from out the hood. Entrepreneur, stock investor. I see myself as this big boss CEO running 30 companies. What about you, man? Where you see yourself 10 years, man? Fucking right, taking the people from out the hood, you know. See different shit, travel the world. See myself taking a slice out of the money pie. Fucking right. I see myself with a mill. Ten years. I see myself with a mill. A couple mill. In ten years, I see myself on a million on a million dollars worth of game with ten mil. For sure. I'm gonna bring it to the interview. For sure, man. Y'all boy, man. Nigga just wanted to tell y'all, nigga, proud of y'all. 
progress, you dig what I'm saying? See y'all done came a long way in this shit. Don't look like it's slowing down or nothing like that no time soon, man. So, nigga, just want to let y'all know, man. Y'all keep grinding. Keep trying to kick them doors down, man. And just, you know, just be yourself, man. Don't, at the end of the day, you're going to feel better about yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you came up and you did it your way. So, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure y'all boys, you know, keep y'all head up. Keep y'all spirits right. Y'all energy up. You know what I'm saying? And keep and keep doing this shit like you ain't gonna live tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. For, right. Sh- for sure, man. But uh, appreciate y'all, boys, man.